All right, let's test Brom Thymol Blue. I think you got the hang of it with methyl orange. But let's do Brom Thymol Blue. Now we're going to add one drop of Brom Thymol Blue to the first seven of these wells. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, that was Brom Thymol Blue, and obviously it starts out as blue. And we're going to see what happens uh, to it as we add different pHs. So let's do what we did for methyl orange. We're going to add a drop of pH 1, and we're just going to go through all the pHs that we have again. Here's pH 1. Here's pH 3. Here's pH 5. Here's pH 7. What do you know about pH 7? Here's pH 9. Note where the color is changing, because that's where bromthymol blue is reacting. Here's pH 11. Here's our last one, pH 13. All right, where did you see a color change? Right, so we see a color change for brown thymol blue. Brown thymol blue at pH of 1, pH of 3, and pH of 5. And remember, we're not counting the number of wells. We're counting what pH we put in at those wells. And so we put in pH 1. We put in pH 3. And we put in pH 5. And we do see a color change there. Bromthymol changed to yellow at pHs 1, 3, and 5. So bromthymol, bromthymol blue has a range because nothing happened after 5. So we we see green here. We're going to ignore that because that's neutral. So, you know, if you uh, anyway, if you add blue and yellow together, you get green. So we know that we're going to we're going to ignore neutral here, but we know that 7 is neutral. We know that there was a distinct color change between 1, 3, and 5. So the range of brown thymol blue is 1 to 5. Could you say the range was probably 0 to 5? Yes, but you can say for sure, because you can see it, that the range is 1 to 5. There was a change. There was no change, particularly uh, at 7, and there was no change at all uh, for a pH of 9, 11, or 13. So brown thymol reacts in an acid at pHs uh, between 1 and 5.